I've received a question uh, concerning business in this world and why do we have to have, and how does the thing, things of business, you know, like getting customers, keeping them happy, and the laws uh, as pertaining to business um, flow with the kingdom of God and getting people saved and all of that. Now, I just believe that while we are in this world, the Bible says we will groan uh, with creation. So creation groans, we groan, and uh, we awaiting the return of the Lord. And in the meantime, we are living in a place where we do business and where we need to keep customers happy and all of that. But what I want to add into that is that all of that doesn't have to be separate from the grace of God or the divine influence that's upon the heart. When I do ministry and we I sit here with computer and camera and screens and lighting and all of those kind of things and to get all of that running and keeping it running all the time is work. But uh, it doesn't have to be something that I do by an effort. It can be something that's driven by a passion. And um, I think when it comes to business and all of that, do the business from that perspective. And also find um, what, what I would uh, um, think of is when you do your business, start to think of it in a different way. Start to think of it, this is the wonderful opportunity through which I can see provision for my family. Um, like one, one of my... Um, friends that's a business owner he says that uh, he feels that his business is upon this earth to provide jobs for people they can actually live and while alive they can hear the gospel and um, know more about the Lord uh, so that's one way of looking at it I think what you need to do is go and ask God to give you a way where you can look at that business in a way that it can, um, that it is more than, more than just something you need to do to stay alive, but where there's a place where you can express what you already know. And how that's going to take place, I cannot tell you exactly. I just know how it works in my ministry and how, I, how it works in some people's lives around me in ministry, especially this one, one uh, businessman which says that he feels he is in ministry. He feels this is a ministry to him and that's uh, what he does. And from that perspective, he's graced, you know, to do that, you know. So, yeah, glory to God. I hope that that would help you and just to get your mind to think in a certain direction as pertaining to this. Glory to God. Well, if you guys hear background noise and dogs barking and trucks and stuff, they're busy drilling a well next door and uh, it's close to my house and right, right next door, the wall uh, close to us drilling this and this making a bit of a noise. So just excuse that.